Hi, my name is John Platero, and I'm the CEO of the National Council for Certified Personal Trainers. And I'm here with Stephanie, and we're going to look at an exercise that most people often perform incorrectly called a four-point stance, sometimes referred to as a horse stance. I even heard people call it a dog stance, but you kind of don't want to call your client a dog. Although I love dogs, I don't see why it's a bad thing. But here's how they normally do it. Normally you'll see, you want to see the wrist, the elbow stacked under the shoulder, and you want to see the knee stacked under the hip. So let's just see if that is stacked. It is. But you'll normally see their hands flat like that. And then normally what they perform, and this is normally used in a lower back rehabilitation pro, uh, protocol or program, you'll see the person lift the left hand and the right leg at the same time. So do that, Steph. And they do it usually, keep doing it, they usually do it in, like I've seen it in the rehab, people doing it this quick, and this is completely the wrong way to do it. It's not the way to do it. So the, the, the reality of this is what you're trying to do in this is you're trying to work the deep spinal muscles, which are the, uh, the multifidi and the paraspinalis, and in particular, multifidi are intersegmental stabilizers, and they go from one spinous process to a transverse process or skip one. So they're very deep. They're not superficial, can't see them. They're the closest to the mast. So in order for those muscles to do the work that we're trying to do, this has to be done extremely, extremely slow. The muscles that you're targeting are, the, are, the, are down below the skin. You can't see them. So we're going to have Stephanie actually do this exercise, and you're going to watch them. Extend the arm slow, 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 slow. Now, the leg. Very slow. Now, you Three can see. Three layers of spinal Here's erectors. the muscle erector. Here's another muscle erector, and you can see they're grabbing onto the spine. Now, remember, the multifidi are more of a stabilizer muscle, so you need to actually hold this isometrically, and people are doing reps. And you'll notice the longer she holds this, Watch this gully get deeper. Look at that. See, now it's getting deeper. Don't lose it. Look now. Look, see that? So now those are those deep muscles, intersegmental stabilizers, that are grabbing onto her spine. And that's what you want to see. So the way I cue it is I take a piece of paper and I'm going to tell Stephanie that instead of lifting her hand off the ground and extending, that as I slide this piece of paper, all she's going to do is lift her hand up just enough for this piece of paper to, to go under. And I'm going to ask her to do it, whatever she thinks is slow, 10 times slower than that. So it's going to, it's going to be very exciting to watch this happen. <laughs> all right, ready? Here we go. Super slow. Okay. I didn't say move your hand. I just say lift it. Okay, and that's almost too high. Barely lift it, okay? So now, once she's done that, she can start to extend the shoulder and lift the hand up. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, then we do the same thing to the right knee. So whatever she thinks is slow, we go super slow. You're just barely allowing this lift, okay? Perfect. Now slowly extend the hip. You, as a trainer, you're monitoring that this pelvis doesn't rotate. And by her doing it so slow, she should feel a slight rotation when this happens. And because it's so slow, there's no gross movement. The deep muscles of the spine are able to integrate. So bring it back and bring it down. Okay. So you should feel it a little bit different. Now, a couple other things that you want to look for is look at her belly here, and I'm going to let her just release any tension in this belly. You can see it, 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 it protrudes out a little bit. And then you can put your finger in their belly and go, just pull away. So this is to activate the transverse abdominus, which is your nature's weight belt. It kind of goes around you and attaches to the thoracolumbar fascia. So that's one cue you want to look for. Another thing, some people can have a sensitive wrist, and you can see right now your wrist, her wrist is in extreme extension. So what we could do is do it as a fist. We could have her put her fist. So now the wrist is in neutral. So now we have the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder stacked. 
Again, you get them in this position. Wrist, elbow, shoulder stacked, knee right under the hip, okay? Uh, knees hip width apart. We look at the cervical spine. Make sure that they're not looking up, looking at anything, just nice and neutral, okay? Then we're looking at the transverse abdominis and we're seeing, let it relax a second, Steph. Now engage it. So it's engaged. She shouldn't arch her back. Let's do this, relax again. Now pull it in, but arch, do what you did before. No, now you rounded your back. Okay. Last time you arched your back. You don't want to see that. You want to see neutral. There you go. So now you've done that. Now you do just what we just did. You go slowly, slowly, slowly. You should feel a slight rotation once you pick your foot. That's it. Now extend the hand slowly, 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 slowly. And you bring your hands straight out. Now, what I do is I have the thumb pointing up just as a cue. If you want to work the, uh, the mid trap, you can have them extend the arm or uh, ab that would be adduct the arm. And so now you're getting these fibers across here. Either way, it's fine. What we're trying to do is target these muscles. Now, slowly, slowly, just lift up. That's enough. Start there. You're looking for rotation so that when she lifts that leg, she doesn't rotate. And now she surely extends. Squeeze the glute. There you go. And then bring it back. Slow. See, everybody wants to do this fast. It's got to be slow so that the deep musculature of the spine can work. And that's a four-point stance. <laughs>